Hey guys, Chad here with the Reptile Rangers. Now we're at the Kernelsville Reptile Zoo and Medical Center again today, and we're going to talk about a little snake that I got here. Um, we've talked about bile pythons many, many, many times. This is just a really cool morph uh, that come in. Give me an opportunity to talk a little bit uh, about some of your um, genetics, uh, but also just show off a specific color of ball python. Okay, so before we get started into this, right here in this corner is a subscribe button. Make sure you hit that and we appreciate you doing that. Now, let's get right back into this. Now, we call them pet rocks or pet paperweights. Uh, they're called ball pythons because, as you can see, when they're nervous or when they're scared or, or feel threatened, then they'll curl up into a ball uh, with their head in the middle. Now, this little guy right here, I'm going to bring this right up here. This is called the super pastel, okay? And you can see the super pastel, and I'm going to explain a little bit further into this. You can see how there's a, almost a disappearing uh, color pattern right on the top of that head there. Uh, but the super pastel, and this is brighter, quite a bit brighter yellow. The pastel is a co-dominant genetic, okay? Um, the regular pastel, I'll put a picture right up here of the regular pastel uh, so you can see what the regular pastel looks like. And then you compare it to what the super pastel is. Now, let's talk about real quick just kind of what this means. Dominant genetics, for example, uh, I'm going to give you two of them. Let's say pinstripe and let's say spider. There is no super form. So that's where the term dominant comes in is because dominant is a dominant gene. It produces nothing additional unlike your co-dominant genetics. Okay, so any of your co-dominant genetics, think of things like your uh, pastel and your Mojave and your lesser and your butter and your, uh, your fire and, uh, oh man, the list goes on and on and on. So on and so forth. So for example, let's do this. Let's say I take this Mojave and this Mojave and I pair it together. A co-dominant genetic would create this, which is the blue-eyed leucistic. Okay, that's what codominant means. Codominant means that a morph, color morph, will create a super form of itself. Okay, like the pastel to another pastel creates the super pastel. All right, now the super pastel is going to be uh, defined by a brighter yellow color, kind of like this guy right here. But you can also see the fadeaway patterns in the, uh, uh, in the, in the spinal crest. Uh, some of the pattern is fading away, and you can also see uh, that really light fadeaway in top, in, on the top of the head there. And that's the super pastel ball python. Now, these are absolutely awesome animals. Uh, hopefully this has just been a little bit helpful in just talking about some of your ball python genetics. Okay. Now, this is Chad again. We are the Reptile Rangers. We are here at the Kernersville Reptile Zoo. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. Make sure to hit the bell for notifications. We appreciate you following along week after week. Make sure to write us in. Let us know what you want us to film about. Medical, housing, ecosystems, the zoo here, whatever. Uh, our information will be in the description below. And as always, we appreciate you uh, watching and following along. We'll either see you at the zoo or see you on the next episode. Later.